Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camp. Today I have another Valentine treat holder for you. Um, this one holds a little um, Hershey snack size candy bar and then I dressed it up with the designer series paper. But it's very easy. The kids can make this as well and it's kind of like magic how you get that. It takes them a little bit to figure out how you that ribbon pulls up that candy bar. So I'm going to show you how to make this today. So we are going to start with our Coastal Cabana cardstock and we're going to cut it at 7 inches. And then we are going to cut it at 2 and 3 quarters of an inch. I believe you are going to get four of these treat holders out of one eight and a half by eleven. So we're going to cut this one at two and three quarters and then by seven. And now I have four treat holders. And then you are going to score this at three and a half, like so. Hold that on that score line. And then you're going to come in with our three-fourths inch circle punch and you're going to center it and go in about halfway and punch. And then you're going to take a handheld, whoops, handheld punch, and you're going to come up the center of your punched out hole, and you're going to punch another little hole like that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to open it up, and you are going to run sticky strip down the side like this, one on each side. You are going to peel that sticky strip off. like so. And then what I did was I ran it through the big shot using our heart embossing folder. Now what you can do is open this up. No, before I open it up I want to take a piece of ribbon. It's just about 12 inches long and I cut it to a point so that it's easier to put through. And then I just put it about halfway Take your candy bar The reason why I like to run it through the impressions folder is it just seals it so good with that sticky strip. You won't have to worry about it popping open, that's for sure. You can see I'm having a hard time opening it up. There we go. Put that candy bar so that the ribbon is looped around that candy bar so that when you pull the ribbon up, I haven't got my thing down all the way. Okay, pull that ribbon up. See how that candy bar comes out of there? What we're going to do now is we're going to decorate our candy bar. I have so much of this Fresh Prince designer series paper from cards I've been doing. I got all these little scraps and they worked perfect for wrapping on my candy bar. So I'm just going to peel the red line off, place it over my candy bar like this, fold that down, and then nice and tightly close it up like that. And there I have my little candy bar all decorated up. Fold that down in there. And then I just tie a knot at the top. There it is, slides right in and out. Then to decorate this, what I did was I took our little bird again, and I'll have the name of the stamp set on the video. 
and I cut it out with this is actually the framelit that goes with the label flip cards. It's a little bit smaller. And then this is our label collection um, framelits so that it has a nice little red trim all the way around. Go ahead and stick that to the red little mat. Take a couple dimensionals, one on each fat end of the circle here and then what I do is I take some adhesive and I place it down the center because of that candy bar in there that center pops up place this on here and then just push those dimensionals down and then that adhesive down the center will stick as well so there you go another valentine treat holder for you and your granddaughter daughter niece nephew whoever would like to make some Valentine treats. Thanks for stopping by.